hi, I'm Ziad Shaman. I'm a pulmonary and critical care doc at Metro, and I'll be explaining how to interpret acid-base disorders using uh, data from blood gases. So let's start with an example. Um, let's, uh, let's say a patient presents with, um, with a blood gas of 732 for pH and 24 for CO2, 95 for O2, and the following chemistry. Um, sodium of 134, potassium of 4.0, chloride 100, bicarb 12, BUN 20, creatinine 1.0, and glucose 305. Um, and try to figure out the acid-base disorder in this case. So the way I like to think of acid-base disorders is that there are up to three primaries that are clinically important. The first primary is going to be the strongest disorder that's driving the pH. The second primary will be if the compensation for the disorder, which includes CO2 and bicarb, is not appropriate, then there will be a second primary. And then look for a third primary by assessing the uh, anion gap uh, versus uh, change in bicarb called the delta delta. Before we start looking at any acid-base disorder, we will have to figure out if the numbers we are given are internally valid. For the internal validity equation, which is the Henderson-Hasselbach equation, you need to figure out log of uh, hydrogen ion concentration which is difficult to do on the fly. So there is a simplified equation which, um, where the hydrogen ion concentration uh, equals 24 times CO2 divided by bicarb. If we take the example that we just had uh, of 732, uh, 24, 95, and if you remember the bicarb was 12 and try to apply the equation you'll have hydrogen ion concentration equals 24 times CO2 which is 24 divided by carb bicarb of 12 and that equals 48 and 48 is uh, is 4 points more than 40 which is the normal hydrogen ion concentration so that's more acid than the normal 7 Zero. So 740 will, uh, be, will be lower in value by approximately uh, 8 points. So it should be 732, which is funny because in this case, the measured pH is uh, very much similar to the calculated pH, which makes you think that this case is made up. After we figured out the, that the uh, internal validity um, works out for this case, 732, 24, and uh, 95, bicarb of 12, we can start working on the first primary, second primary, and the third primary. The first primary uh, takes into account the direction of the pH. If the pH has dropped, uh, then it's an acidosis. And in this case, because the CO2 dropped also and the bicarb dropped, then it must be a metabolic disorder. An easy way to remember this is that if the pH and the CO2 go in the same direction, then the disorder is metabolic because um, the reverse is respiratory. And since the, the two numbers are going in the same direction, then it must be metabolic. Working through the second primary, uh, you have a bunch of uh, equations, and those equations depend on what the first primary is. Uh, if the first primary is metabolic acidosis, the equation to remember is Winter's formula. And that's, uh, that's the, one that, the only equation that you really have to memorize, where the predicted CO2 um, equals 1.5 by carb uh, plus 8 and everything of course is plus minus 2. In this case uh, predicted CO2 will be 1.5 uh, times 12 plus 8 equals uh, 26 
of course, plus minus 2. So the predicted bicarb is very much similar to the measured bicarb. There is no second primary disorder.